came in a uh, floodplain here, and there's evidence of the flash flood that happened over the weekend over here. So, let's look at after the flood. The ground is still wet. Look at that. Wonder if we can find some interesting animal tracks, maybe. I wonder how squishy it is. Let's give it a try. That's no, hard. These two. See how the uh, water cut through here. Look at the various layers there. More uh, gritty stuff on the bottom and the finer stuff at the top. The gritty stuff laid down when the water was moving faster. And the very coarse stuff on the bottom when it was moving fastest. You can see how the water slowed down and was dropping more finer and finer grain material. Interesting. That's, that's a nice photo. For a nice photo opportunity. I see some tracks here. Not sure what these are though. Coursed up here. And we're heading through here. Look at this. What's this uh, the animal scurvy over there? In December, I'm not seeing a lot of animals. It's very nice right there. Look at that. It's a photo. There we go. Oh, it's a birdie. Nice little kind of braids through there. All this coming down from the mountain up there. You're there. We're going to run into another stream here and see a dead car. Or, is that the car? What is this? Yeah, it's part of a... No, I don't know what that is. It is part of an old vehicle. Or a machine of some sort. It's like a grill and then a headlight. Yeah, this is an old vehicle. Look at that. One of those old, that's the uh, radiator grill there. And the lights over there. Of course, the lights are all gone. There's a headlamp there. I didn't see anything on there. Is that an M? Right there? Just look at that. Look at that. Ooh. I can zoom in on it. It's hard to see what my finger's pointing at right there. I hope you guys can see that it looks like an M. I wonder what M stands for, but that kind of uh, these curves and lines often indicative of older style because they use those to give strength to the metal. And a flat metal doesn't have a lot of strength, but if you just put a few curves into it, ooh, watch out for that. Is that take your feet out? Put a few curves into the metal, and it'll, uh, it takes on a lot of strength. Yeah, there's a little paint. Interesting. Some sort of covering there. I see a butterfly over there. Let's go see if we can see the butterfly. Let's just go a little further. Sorry for the fast action with the camera. If you're wondering what that whirring sound is, there are windmills on the hill out there. See them? And earlier there were none of them turning, and now there are a few, and what you're hearing is the sound of the windmills as they turn. A little more gritty down here. Oh, there's more of that vehicle. 
Ah, hier geht's, ne? You know, they steady here. It's really good for deserts. Because there's, in Japan, it's harder to use this steady can because there's so much foliage, trees and, and the like. But here, there's so little. You can just float and glide between whatever thing, whatever's out here. Sometimes too fast like that. This is nice. Now I know where to come to uh, look for uh, this little bucket. Right there. I don't know, come to uh, scope out flash floods. Here. I know, I think I've got a place nearby that I can camp. Oh, isn't this be, oh, that's a nice photo. Yes. Okay. Well, that's probably it for now. Thanks as always for joining me. See you later. Nothing like the first time. And I don't think I could have uh, even made it this far that, that last time. Anxiety would have had the best of me. But I'm slowly getting the best of it, so I tell myself. You, you watch, you see. There's good reason to be anxious. <laughs>